Hi, I'm Joel. And I'm Leah, and we're going to be teaching you the Birmingham accent. Before we start, if you're new, don't forget to go down below, click subscribe, and then you'll see our videos every week. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that's what's going to happen. Uh, if you're not already a subscriber, then... What, what are you, you doing? doing? Okay, so Birmingham is located in the West Midlands, which, if you don't know, is sort of smack bang in the middle of the UK. The accent generally is received by the rest of the country as being... Uh, I think it's voted as the ugliest accent in the UK, which isn't a fact, it it's isn't fact, true, it's an no. opinion. Um, I actually quite like it, and I know you do too. There was a survey about untrustworthy voices that you hear over the phone, sort of like in call centres, and Birmingham and Liverpool as uh, accents were voted sort of the most untrustworthy. I've got family from Birmingham, uh, family, they live in Solihull and sort of surrounding areas, so I'm not an expert, but it is in my family. Yeah. You are I'm nothing. complete nothing. <laughs> you not are from nothing. Birmingham. People say Birmingham sounds like it's a, they sound like they've got a cold. Is it's just a bit of a stereotype? But it is totally a stereotype. They don't sound like they've got a cold, it's just the the placement of the words can be quite up here because it's just like it's that's where it is in the mouth. A really good point is the tone of the accent. So it always ends on a minor note because you always, you hear it's, it's like going over there, like it's, uh, like it ends on a, on a minor note a rather minor than note. a major thing. Look at the mobile phones. Yeah, so you do like mobile phones. Mobile like phones. You, um. Rather than ending on a. Mobile phones. So if I was speaking to Joel, I'd say to him, Joel, have you read my book? And Joel would say, no, I haven't read your book. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's the e, e note. Uh, one of the most obvious uh, differences with a Birmingham accent from our accent is the short A sound rather than long A. So past instead of past or um, glass instead of glass. Dance. I was dancing in the classroom on top of the table and afterwards everybody looked at me because they thought I was funny. Maybe. That's like a bit of everything. That's a bit, yeah, of, all, that's that's a bit, a long that's a bit of all the sounds. <laughs> Another trait of the Birmingham accent is the sort of intrusive G sound. Yep, so it's pronounced as a hard G rather than a soft G. So going would be pronounced going, but only in a certain scenario. So if the word following, uh, the word with the G ending is a vowel, mm -hmm. I was going after seeing my mum. Or going over there. So you say going, going go over there. there. But yeah. if you say going to the shops, you wouldn't say going to the shops, you'd just say going, going. to the I'm shops. I'm going to the shops, I'm going over there to see. Yeah, you might keep that G. Mm. So it's worth remembering if you're trying to um, nail down a Birmingham accent because it would be, it'd be small things like that that people would be listening for. Yeah. We've also got the intrusive K sound. Mm -hmm. So adding K sounds to the ends of words that end in G, you might hear that a lot in, in uh, Birmingham. So nothing. Something. 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 Some. Something. Not some. No, yeah. Something. Something. Um, it's similar to another accent that has that, like London. Some would be like something. Yeah. They might say that. Yeah. Anything. I can't think of anything to go with it. I've got these trousers, but I've got nothing to go with it. So some people say that Bir the Birmingham accent's got quite a rhythmic, sing-songy-like tone to it. So Which is probably also why you do slip into something similar to Welsh because Welsh, Welsh is also, also quite sing songy. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's quite up and down like that. Whereas we would say one, one two, two, three, four, four five. five. Here's a fun fact. Um, Shakespeare's from Warwickshire, from Stratford-upon-Avon, mm. and he wrote in that sort of rhythmic way and the actual original players of Shakespeare would have spoken like that. So if mm. you're reading Shakespeare, what what tired torment has to, like to do it up and down like that? What study torment tyrant has for me? Like they honestly would have spoken like that because they're all from the West but Midlands. Soft would light through yonder wind I break. Who soft would light through yonder wind I break? The you got the A W sounds: daughter, water, court, court. A A W sound: court. Um. Again, quite forward. Mm. So everyone, that's just a few tips we've got for you if you're trying to achieve a Birmingham accent. Um, let us know if you want to see more of these kind of videos. Mm -hmm. um, so we can do a more in-depth one if that's something you're interested in, because as I said, that, that was just a few examples of it. 
Um, but we post regular videos about different accents, different language things, so don't forget to go and check them out. And please, no hate, because we're not experts in this please, area. Please, no we, hate. Please, no hate. We did another video uh, just trying out some accents, one of which was Birmingham, and there was just tons of hate on it. Yeah. Um, so take from this what you will. Yeah. And, and tell me what you think of my cat t shirt. Yeah, if there's going to be any hate, can we make it, it be about this. This, these clothes rather than our, our accents? Yeah. Okay, guys, over and out. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye. Bye.